Hi guys, and sorry for the irregular uploads. I want to have either something very cool to share or something like this which I feel can save someone hours. If you have any ideas what you might want to watch, please do share them in the comments or in Discord. Okay, let's get into it. My whole Monday was actually occupied with uh, me looking for a proper cityscapes data loader in Keras and TensorFlow, which you would think is a fairly common problem. Well, apparently not. After looking for hours, I managed to find a couple of guys who've done it using PyTorch and TensorFlow datasets, but I wanted to make a data loader that can later be used for another dataset or just tweaked. So I just said, okay, I'll just do it on my own and then share it so no one encounters this issue anymore. At first I got interesting errors like uh, none loss, some cosmological number, things were just not working, but uh, some frustration later it was ready. Let me briefly explain how it's done, but if you want to just get the code, I totally get you and uh, it's in the video description, so please head on there. For the ones who are still here, let's go kind of line by line. I want to say I'm sorry because I borrowed code and ideas from many people, but uh, I just needed it to work, so I'm sorry if I failed to acknowledge someone. I've written comments all over the code, uh, and you can see in the beginning there are a couple of repositories and resources you might want to check. So first things first, to get started you should download two things from Cityscape's website. The first one is GT Fine train vow zip and the other one is left image 8 bit zip um, to do this what you need to do is just first register in the website and you can see the two uh, things you need to download on the screen right now then simply extract it somewhere and you need to adjust the path showed here and here after this you can adjust the image size and batch size but essentially you're ready Let's start by looking at how the paths are generated. With a couple of integrated list comprehensions, we extract all paths from all cities in the dataset and we just put them um, inside this list. Then the actual data loader class is a Keras sequence, which is similar to a PyTorch data loader somewhat, but different in other ways too. If you're interested, please head to the TensorFlow documentation and read more about it. It's very useful. We initialize it by putting the patch size, desired image size and the required paths. Because it escapes originally has 35 classes I think, and some of them are way too specific, I decided to only use 20 of them, really 19 plus a junk class for the background and everything we are not using. What I do next is not really memory efficient and you're welcome to do a pull request to fix it, but I just needed it to work so... Here it is. I take the Keras data loader from Oxford Pets, link in the description as well, and change the part about the labels. I first tried it with non one hot encoded pixels, and it didn't work. That is, that was when I got the none error and all of this crazy stuff, which I was on the verge of quitting and just getting a new dataset because I was I was tired of this one. But uh, um, later I found that I had some mistake in the code which was not relevant to the one hot encoding so if you prefer it can be removed and it should work just fine but I wanted to give you this version so that maybe you want one hot encoding for some reason and there is a scenario where you need it so there you have it. Essentially we take the labeled images with the IDs and then put it in a numpy array which is unsigned int 8 and we make the classes we don't care about to to be junk class, which we could later make it to appear as background color. Usually they use 255 for the background or 250 for the background class. I use 20. So later when we are uh, when we are ready with the results, essentially what you need to do is convert that 20 again to 255 so that you can see the huge contrast. Otherwise you still have the same results, I guess, but uh, in order to visualize it properly, you need to change that one. We reshape the mask so that it allows for the one hot encodings and then what we do is get the encodings with the numpy i function which is something again I didn't come up with but 
instead copy it uh, from a repository or actually it was Stack Overflow who mentioned it's a faster way to do it and it generates a matrix of a specific shape where the diagonal is ones and the rest of the matrix is zeros and after some more reshaping we get the encodings. I'm not entirely sure if that is the most efficient way to do this. Uh, <coughs> correction, I'm sure it's not. Uh, and it is certainly uh, the worst O notation ever, since it's doing many argu arguably not necessary reshapings in the actual get item, which you use for each item. But again, it's at least something that works, and I'm sure with your help, we can make it much more efficient. That was it really for the video. Thank you very much for watching and the support you're giving to the channel. And if the channel grows, I'm willing to start making videos for you full time until I run off things I, that I believe can help someone or just interesting stuff in general, which I doubt would happen, but yeah. Uh, so thanks again. Please consider subscribing for more useful tips and tricks, not only with TensorFlow or machine learning or even PyTorch in general, but for much more. I'm planning to make a video about an OpenCV Oak project as well as a React and Expo project, so stay tuned. Thank you and goodbye.